How is it that Isaiah saw the Lord and lived? In the year that King Uzziah died, the Bible says, I saw also the Lord sitting upon a throne high and lifted up, and his train filled the temple. Isaiah chapter 6 and verse 1. Well, John 12, 41 tells us that Isaiah saw Jesus. So if you see God, you're looking at Jesus. <clears throat> this throne that he saw was surrounded by these incredible creatures called seraphim, and they cried one to another, holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. The whole earth is full of his glory. The post of the door moved at the voice of him that cried, and the house was filled with smoke. Now, what's Isaiah's reaction to this? Well, he says in verse 5, then said I, woe is me. Now, that's that, that term we use to stop horses or to pronounce judgment, and he's pronouncing judgment on himself. He says, woe is me. This is what happens when someone encounters the living God, when they realize how sinful they are and how holy God is. And he says there, for I am undone because I am a man of unclean lips and I dwell in the midst of a people of unclean lips. For mine eyes have seen the King, the Lord of hosts. Undone. That is the state of a sinful person who comes into the presence of a holy God. Well, what has to happen? Well, something's got to got to get in between you. Something's got to take that sin and get it out of the way. And so in Isaiah's case, in a temporary situation here, uh, <clears throat> the Bible says that one of those seraphim went and took a tong with coal, a coal with tongs off the altar and touched it to his lips. He says, this is now, I laid it on his mouth and said, lo, this has touched thy lips and thine iniquity is taken away and thy sin is purged. And then everything changes for Isaiah. He goes from shrinking back and saying, woe is me and saying, I'm undone to saying <clears throat> in verse eight, also I heard the voice of the Lord saying, whom shall I send and who will go for us? Then said I, here am I, send me. <laughs> he, he goes from, from being uh, the, this incredibly mortified person to volunteering for service. I will go for you, Lord. I will do whatever it is that you have for me to do. See, this is what happens in the life of someone who truly comes to faith in Jesus Christ. When we see the Lord and we realize that we are sinful and that on our own we could never stand in the Lord's presence and that we are undone and that we deserve the punishment and judgment of God for our sins. But the Bible tells us that, that the, the ultimate cleansing and purging of sin and taking away of sin took place because Jesus offered himself as the Lamb of God who taketh away the sin of the world. And so Isaiah's situation is very unique and temporary but not ours. Ours, we can have our sin completely purged and taken away because of the shed blood of Jesus Christ and the atonement that he made for us on the cross. Now, when we come to him in repentance and we say, I'm undone, I'm a man of unclean lips, and we receive the gift of eternal life and salvation through Jesus Christ, we can be forgiven and given a new life. And when that happens, we go from being mortified and terrified of God to being missionaries on mission for Jesus. That's exactly what happens. He, he says, here am I, send me. And that's exactly what Jesus has done with his disciples. He has sent us. That's what he called his apostles, the sent ones. And we carry on that apostolic mission by being sent with the message of the gospel of Jesus Christ, to invite others to come to faith in him, to tell others that they can uh, have their sins taken away, that they can have their, their sins purged, that they can have eternal life through the free gift of Jesus Christ. That's what happens when you, when you meet Jesus truly, and that's what happened with Isaiah on that day. I just want to encourage you today. I hope that you've met Jesus. I hope that you've maybe not seen him the way that Isaiah has, obviously. We haven't seen him. But to come to faith in Christ and to have your sins taken away and then to say, here, my Lord, send me. I'll go wherever you want me to go. I'll do whatever you want me to do. God bless you. Have a great day.